The drama GCSE comprises three units. The first component is internally assessed and externally moderated. Students create, rehearse and perform a devised performance from a centre set stimulus. They then produce a written portfolio which reflects on and analyses and evaluates the developmental process as well as the effectiveness of the performance work created. The recommended word limit is 2000 words. The second unit is externally assessed by a visiting examiner. Students perform either a monologue or a duologue. The scripted extract needs to be learnt by heart, blocked, with students considering the use of voice and physical skills to meet the appropriateness of the character and the situation of the extract. They will be marked only on their performance skills. Finally, the third unit is a written exam of one hour and 45 minutes. There are two sections to this exam. Part A explores the centre set text, which for summer 2022 is Arthur Miller's play, The Crucible. Students answer short and extended response questions on an unseen extract from the chosen text. They are not allowed to take annotated copies of the script into the exam and will be provided with a fresh, clean copy of the extract. The second section of the exam requires students to answer two questions based on a live theatre performance which they have seen. They are allowed to take one um, page of A4 notes into this exam. The notes cannot exceed 500 words. I would recommend that students practice their monologue or duologue weekly. Recording themselves on a phone or tablet can provide a very useful way to watch their performance back and then make improvements. Revising the timings for the component three exam. Revising key subject terms for voice, physical skills, set, costume, lighting and sound. Revising the background context on Arthur Miller, the USA and communism in the 1950s as well as revising their annotated copy of The Crucible, which focusing on Act 2, which is this year's Selected Examination Act. Finally, students should also spend time revising their 500 words live theatre notes. There are a range of additional revision activities which students could undertake. Watching both the film of The Crucible, as well as re-watching their live theatre performance, are both invaluable activities. Doing so will remind the students not only of the action of each performance, but how characters are presented, interpreted, how voice and physical skills can be used, as well as the set, costume, lighting and sound ideas in both performances. Students can also mind map or plan responses to practice exam questions, as well as completing those exam questions to time. The more practice students have with answering questions to time, ultimately the better they will do in the summer examination. Finally, there is a CPG GCSE drama study guide available for the Crucible, which can be of immense benefit to students. Should your child need any further help or support in drama, then they are welcome to approach me at any time. The CO2 scripted acting performances will be examined in mid-March and students are welcome and actively encouraged to attend extra rehearsals on either a Monday or Wednesday lunchtime. Of course, they're more than welcome to come to both. Finally, there will be after school drama revision sessions. On a Wednesday, they will be focusing on The Crucible and on a Thursday, the live theatre. Both of these will take place after school.